Hi everybody, my name is Domin, and today I'm going to show you how you can dig your own shallow well. Now, Hurricane Michael came through here a few weeks back. Man, it caused a bunch of destruction. Trees down, power lines down, some people lost their homes. We got through it a lot better than some, and our hearts and prayers are with those people. And we'll continue to be with those people until they get back on their feet. With that said, all the destruction that happened around here, we were over three days without power. Now guys, I live out in the middle of nowhere, and this is how I get my water. I got a pipe right there that runs 322 feet down on the ground, and without electricity, I can't get that water up to the surface to use it. Now guys, without electricity running and being able to use the main well, that little joker right there, it saved the day. And guys, I'm fixing to show you what it took to put that thing in the ground. Now guys, this right here is called a hand auger, and I got mine on Amazon.com for $48. For some reason, people try to jack the price up on these things, so be careful on the price. But literally, you're just going to find a spot that you want to start digging a hole, and you're going to put the face down on it and just start turning it. And all the loose dirt is going to channel to the inside of those blades. So that way, when you fill that thing up with dirt, you can just pull it straight out and just dump the dirt. Now, if you ever use this thing, I promise you, you'll never go back to post hole diggers. It, it just cuts a clean, perfect hole in the ground, and, and man, it's a lot quicker. Get used to this, guys, because you're going to do this a lot in this project. So now, uh, once you got your handlebars to the ground, you're going to need an extension. This is a four-foot extension. I do not remember how much it cost. That knuckle is extra, I, uh, but it wasn't too bad either. This was not a very expensive project at all, guys. I, I want to say I got like, my goodness, I, maybe $400 in, in total. I, I, can't, I can't recall, but it, it, it ain't much around there. If you put your foot on that blade... Uh, it'll hold itself true while you work that uh, pipe wrench to loosen that handle right there. You're going to want to remove that thing, add your extension to it. And guys, uh, after you add that thing, uh, that's what that knuckle's for right there, so you can add your handle. Or the original part of the... Um, hand auger. You get what I'm saying? Why are you even talking? Man, install them handlebars and uh, let's get back to work. Now you've got an eight foot hand auger. Now guys, let me show you what my son and I did and how deep our hole was. Are you recording? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now, guys, that white stuff right there, that is sand and quartz. It's a lot grittier than uh, beach sand, but when you hit that, you know you are in the money. Now we got the hole dug. We have got to get some casing, and, guys, these are 10-foot sections, and I used three of them for mine. At one, on the end of one of them, you're going to want to drill a bunch of holes. Guys, I probably drilled 70 to 100 holes just randomly. You want to stay away from the end of it, though. You don't want to... You don't want to drill around the end of it. We'll get to that in a minute, but uh, you're going to want to take... See those little white things right there? Part of the drilling? You're going to either want to sand it or uh, knock them out. You do not want that stuff in your water, but you want plenty of holes for that water to seep through. So uh, I went up about probably three feet, and I just drilled a bunch of holes in there, man. That was probably the funnest thing in the project. Now, after you drill those holes, this is called a cap, and you want to put it on the end that you drilled all them holes in. You'll glue it, and uh, then you will slide that whole thing down inside of the, the hole that you just dug. Now, guys, I bought two bags of this pea gravel right here, and I poured it around the casing that was already in the hole. It's just another layer of filtration. After you do all that, you're going to want to fill as much dirt around that pipe as you can all the way down to that gravel, and I used about 200 pounds of concrete to case this thing in. Well, guys, now you have a cased well, and, and whatever you decide to do with it, whether dip something in there to pull the water out or to get you a old trusty uh, hand pump like this right here to pull the water out, but that's up to you. And just, just follow the manufacturer's instructions on how to assemble that thing. It's not difficult at all. I promise you, the hardest part is digging this hole. Now, I had a couple questions going into this project. The main one was, where is my water table? I didn't want to dig a 30-foot hole and never hit water. So what I found out through research is every time somebody drills a, a well, uh, for a home site or business or whatever, they have to report back to the local government where they hit water. So all this is public information. All you have to do is Google your county and your state and where's my water table, and you should be able to find the maps that show you your area and where your water table levels are. Ours for our area was anywhere from 12 
to 40 feet. So I, we got lucky. We hit it just past the 20-foot mark. And guys, when this thing erupted, it, it exploded inside the hole. Water shot up. It was really loud. And uh, water instantly filled this thing up about 9 feet. So we were real happy with that. Uh, we, we continued to dig down another 4 feet into the... Uh, water table to make sure that we had adequate water uh, we didn't want this thing running dry so um, i've checked it periodically and the water inside this casing right here stays uh between 12 and 14 feet depending on a uh, the time of the year but um inside this is a four inch casing right here which means every linear every foot will hold just over half a gallon of water so if i've got 10 feet in there i mean i've got five gallons of water at all times so guys we really enjoyed it having this thing and uh Really hope that you take on the uh, take on the project, man. You, you will not be disappointed. Now, I've not put brick around this or any rock or anything because I ain't made up my well. My wife ain't made up my mind yet. If if she wants the one that goes on the ground and mounts to the concrete, or should I break this up and just make it pretty? But whatever you decide to do, people, I, I guarantee you, you're gonna be happy with it. Now, guys, it takes work to put that thing in the ground. It really does. But if you've done this project in the past or you plan on doing it and you accomplish it, be proud of what you've done. You just took you and your family that much closer to being self-sufficient. And in case of an emergency, you're just better prepared. So, guys, again, I'm Domin with Three Bricks Higher. We hope to see you back. We'll post videos on about every two to three weeks, and we'll catch you next time. I know. You're not going inside until you clean this up. Don't cuss me like that.